In the heart of Yemen's Wadi Hadramaut, a cluster of ancient mud skyscrapers soars above the desert floor, a beacon of mankind's adaptability to the most formidable of environments. At the edge of a desolate expanse of desert known as the Empty Quarter, the 16th century walled city of Shibam remains the oldest metropolis in the world to use vertical construction. Once a significant caravan stop on the spice and incense route across the southern Arabian plateau, in the 1930s, British explorer Freya Stark dubbed the mud city the Manhattan of the desert due to its density of high-rises, a characteristic unseen in Western cities at the time, especially given the structure's age and their creation without the aid of professional architects or engineers. Every aspect of Shibam's design is strategic. Perched upon on a rocky spur and surrounded by a giant flood wadi, its elevated position shields it from flooding while maintaining proximity to its primary source of water and agriculture. The city was built on a rectangular grid behind a fortified wall, a defensive arrangement that protected its inhabitants from rival tribes and offered a high vantage point from which enemies would be seen approaching. The mud-brick high-rises, which stretch up to seven stories high, were constructed from the fertile soil surrounding the city. A soil, hay, and water mixture was fashioned into bricks and left to bake in the sun for days. However, mud bricks erode swiftly and necessitate regular maintenance, leading to these towers being remodeled, repaired, and restored repeatedly over centuries. This preservation process, passed down through generations, makes Shibam a living testament to architectural ingenuity constantly evolving yet deeply rooted in its past. The windowless ground floors were used for livestock and grain storage, while the uppermost levels typically served as communal floors for socializing. Connective bridges and doors between buildings also provided a means of quick escape, another one of the city's impressive defensive features. The city's design is remarkably adaptive to local conditions, whether due to the ready availability of construction materials or the shade offered by the towering buildings, providing respite from the intense desert heat. This harmonious blend of form and function reflects vernacular architecture at its finest, demonstrating how local materials can effectively meet local needs. Contrary to modern skyscrapers, typically indifferent to local conditions and constructed using concrete, steel and a vast construction industry. Shebam's high-rises are a testament to the triumph of traditional architecture. They stand as a symbol of the successful adaptation of building techniques to their environment, all while maintaining a striking aesthetic appeal. Shebam was a significant hub in the interconnected world of the ancient era. Known as Arabia Felix, or Fertile Arabia, Yemen was a vital player in the trade network of spices and other goods with Roman historians such as Pliny the Elder and Diodorus, documenting the region's importance. The city of Shibam has been continuously inhabited since its inception, serving as a caravan stop for inland traders carrying spices to the coast. As an important stop on the spice and incense trade route, Shibam emerged as a beacon of wealth in the southern Arabian plateau. The city began as an enclave for rival families seeking prestige, political power, and protection from Bedouin thieves. The notion of stacked housing quickly became the architectural modus operandi and thus began the construction of hundreds of mud-brick buildings. The solution, the contiguous tower houses eliminated vulnerabilities from attack while simultaneously exhibiting the wealth of the residents. Shibam was built atop the pre-Islamic capital of Shabwa after its destruction in 300 AD, largely leveling the former community. A few fragments remain from the earliest construction in Shibam, including a mosque built in 904 and a castle built in 1220. However, the city was largely rebuilt after 1532 when a devastating flood swept the region, crippling the foundations of the city's ancient towers. Despite its strategic location on the highest point of the Wadi flute plain, Shibam has frequently been the subject of fluting, prompting the fortification of its outer walls. These skyscrapers house around 7,000 people and are built very close to each other. 
the whole city is surrounded by a wall. It's amazing to see that just mud and wooden beams are used to build these houses. Cars can get in through the main gate, but only be able to drive up to the mosque and the main square. The alleys must be explored on foot and can cover all of them in two hours. If you walk the alleys, notice plenty of goats. They live on the ground floor of many of the buildings. The goats were the only animals living in Shibam. See the interior of one of the houses? They are colorful and not sandy as the outside. Each floor has a few rooms for the various families living together. The top floor often is for the newlyweds which move down once another couple marries. Shibam, while exceptional, is not an isolated case of Hadramaut architecture. The region's landscape is dotted with cities, palaces, and fortresses like al Hajarain, all boasting similar mud-brick skyscrapers. Other examples include Wadi Dawan and the tiny village of Haid al-Jazal, constructed on an escarpment at the bottom of a narrow wadi. These towns, standing tall against the test of time, are not just aesthetic marvels, but are living exemplars of architectural adaptation. The term Manhattan of the Desert scarcely does justice to the rich historical and cultural tapestry that these cities represent. They are not just centuries-old skyscrapers, but living, breathing testimonials to the supreme example of vernacular architecture. These ancient skyscrapers have endured for centuries, thanks to their inherent design philosophy of continual adaptation to local conditions. Each generation that has lived here has contributed to their maintenance and preservation, passing down the knowledge and techniques necessary to sustain these structures. This cycle of adaptation and preservation makes the city of Shibam and its neighboring towns in Hadramaut a living, evolving embodiment of their historical, cultural, and architectural heritage. In 2008, a tropical cyclone flooded Shibam, damaging several structures and threatening to topple its earthen towers. The city is under man-made threats as well. In 2015, Shibam was added to the list of world heritage in danger, along with two other sites when a violent civil war erupted in Yemen, thrusting the country into an ongoing humanitarian catastrophe. Historic buildings sustained significant damage during heavy bombing in Sana'a and remain at risk from armed conflict. In addition to causing terrible human suffering, these attacks are destroying Yemen's unique cultural heritage, which is the repository of people's identity, history, and memory, and an exceptional testimony to the achievements of the Islamic civilization. Yemen is in the grips of a war between Iran-backed Houthi rebels, who control the capital, and a beleaguered government supported by a Saudi-led military coalition. Shibam is controlled by the internationally recognized government, but while it has largely been spared direct conflict, it has not escaped the effects of the war. Shibam bears witness to the cultural identity of the people of Wadi Hadramaut and their former traditional way of life. The attributes that carry outstanding universal value, including the city layout, the city skyline, the city wall, the traditional buildings, and the relationship between the city and its surrounding landscape continue to be maintained. Authenticity is threatened indirectly by outside disruptions, and in certain cases, by the general tendency in Yemen of replacing traditional materials by concrete structures. Sometimes called the Chicago of the desert, or the Manhattan of the desert, the old city of Shibam presents to historians and urbanists one of the earliest and most perfect examples of rigorous planning based on the principle of vertical construction. Credited as the home of the first high-rise apartment buildings, Shibam has become a symbol for the rise and resilience of Middle Eastern culture in the desolation of the surrounding desert.